Hi there, it's Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and today I'd like to share with you my design team project for the Inspiration Station in Stafford Springs, Connecticut. And what I created was a um, steampunk style type box. They had this really cool paper up here, um, if you can see it that well. And I just loved it the second I saw it, and as soon as I saw it, I thought that I could do something um, steampunky because that's what I really like doing. So I used, um, let's see, I have a lot of stuff in this, so I used paper from Kaiser Craft, I used the Rustic Carmony collection, as well as the Antique Bazaar collection. I used a bunch of Tim Holtz embellishments, um, as well as some that I had in my own stash. So some of these gears were mine, but the clock is Tim's, keys his, this, this, um, and then this great little quote here, all great things take time. That was in, I think it was the Antique Bazaar collection. Um, let's see what else that I did. Uh, the whole thing is distressed with uh, vintage photo distressed ink. And it's put together using FabTac and score tape. Uh, let's see, it's made with chipboard and craft card stock. Again, I use the um, We Are Memory Keepers Deco Punch, which you can kind of see a little bit right there and there. Um, I know it's, I didn't use it a lot, so, but I really like using that. And I also use the Sizzix uh, Angel Wings to create these. And then I just kind of took and sponged on the alcohol ink. Um, I used the copper one for that. And let me show you this cute little box. Let me just zoom out. So how this works is the box flips open like this and then I have a little album which is all attached to the box so nothing comes out and I angled the sides in the top part here let me just bring it up again I use the deco punch and you can see a lot of the um, vintage photo distressed ink that I used on it and then it opens up now it's all attached so it's one so nothing's gonna come apart there's a pocket right here I created and then I have some, just some pages that I created. This one here, I created just a little flip up. I did leave the other pages here open on most of them. Uh, at some point, I will probably put something in it. But for right now, I didn't want to make it too complicated, just in case it's a class that I teach at some point. I have a tendency of making things look too crazy complicated, and they're really not. If you can fold paper, you can make anything. So I just wanted to keep some of that separate, and then at some point I will add other cute little things, like maybe some corner pages and stuff like that to it. And I know the paper is kind of light, so it's hard to see, but this paper is really, really pretty. And then, you know, the, uh, these ones are pretty too. And on the very last page of it, I did create a pull-out tab. And that little tag just fits right in here. I could have done it for all of them, but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do on the other pages. And like I said, I didn't want to make it too crazy complicated. And then the back where everything just fits all in. And then it just folds all up. Like this. And that's the box. And I'll be, you know, this will be at the store at some point. You can check it out in person up there. I hope you enjoyed what I shared with you, and again, if you see any of the projects that you like, you would like me to teach at some point, when I do get time and my schedule allows it, I will hopefully be up there at some point to teach classes, so just let Debbie know which projects you like, and we'll just go from there. Thanks for watching.